Hi, have you ever asked yourself what's the correct way to peel a banana? From a top or a bottom? Well, I've done both of them. I've been told the top and then someone told me bottom, so I was confused until I saw a documentary about monkeys and I saw them, they're peeling banana from the top. This is the top because the banana grows this way. So according to nature and more experience, animals, uh, this is the right way. So pinching the top and peeling the banana, simple as that. Okay, but no, I'm not gonna have this now. I'm in a science lab, so I'm not allowed to eat or drink. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the health, health away and talking about safety. Safety is number one, no, is number two priority. Number one priority is fun. So make sure you have fun. The most important thing is in safety is to listen to your teachers, listen clearly to instructions. When the teacher is giving you instruction, don't talk to each other, don't start forming a team or group that you are working with each other. I have seen as soon as we tell the students, are oh, you going to work in a pair or group of three? And then suddenly say, can we work in group of five? No, maximum three, for example. And then I see they start informing the team. So missing what the teacher is saying. Okay, so listen carefully, be sensible, be quiet, listen to instructions. Do not stand behind your desk or a corner and um, talking to each other. Sometimes I've seen some student doing some dance move. What is this? Yeah, whatever. Yes, the first thing, always goggle. You're all familiar with this. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you are either a science student, I mean student, or a teacher, or you have been given this link by me to watch it so I can get the higher views and likes and this just likes, yeah, and subscribe. Uh, goggles, they come with different forms, as you can see, different size maybe. Uh, oh my gosh, so, and um, students always arguing about wearing them. They feel uncomfortable wearing them. Some of them, they think this is a fashion show. So all the time I see, they are having the top of their head like this, walking around the class and they think they are safe. No, it's not a fashion show. It's for your safety. And um, I'm telling you why your safety is very important. And there's two main reasons for it. First, if anything happened to you, I'm gonna lose my job. And if you think because of you, I'm gonna lose my job, you're wrong. So that's the first one. Second reason is that if anything happened to you, I'm going to get sued by your parents. I know I don't have money to pay your parents, but still, it might result again to lose my job. Remember, when you have to do this experiment, you have to stand up behind your desk. You do not sit down unless you have been advised by your teacher that you can sit down for that particular experience. But usually, you do not sit. You stand up. You wear your goggles, you tie up your, ba your hairs, uh, tucking your bags under your table, you don't want to trip over your bags, um, and you don't want to bear your hair, and you do not eat or drink. All the food should be away. You do not eat or drink in the science lab. There is a good reason for it. Uh, number one is... Uh, um, just don't eat and drink, okay? That's it. There, oh yeah, there are chemicals around. Then your food might get contaminated and obviously it's not good for your health. What? Okay, Hooke's law. Uh, yeah, you might do physics experiment and you might say there's no chemical um, around so it should be safe for you to eat or drink. Uh, I would say no, rules are rules. You always follow them. If you are in the empty junction, there's no cars coming, and traffic light is red, you do not cross the junction. You wait until it goes green. You cannot justify it. There is no car. There is no chemical. Rules are rules for a reason. Okay? So follow them and don't get yourself poisoned or killed. If you have to die, 
outside, please. I don't want any responsibility. <clears throat> Naked fire is dangerous. It can burn you down. Your stuff, your back, your clothes, your hair, everything. So always um, be careful when you reward with fire. What's wrong with this? Sorry, uh, I think it's broken that one, so I'm just gonna use the lighter. Excellent, burning something. Uh, oh, remember, if you have, you wear glasses like me, and you have to wear goggles, um, it's up to you, you can either remove your glasses, and just put the goggles on. Or, if you can't see without your glasses, wear this on top of your glasses. Simple. Okay? Not in the top. Not here in your shirt. I don't know. Not behind you. Not this way. Always wear your goggles. Okay? If you wear long toys, it's part of your uniform, tuck it in inside your shirt. Like this. If you have a long hair, pull it back. Rem oh. Okay, so long hair is very important, so I don't have long hair, but I can demonstrate to you with this paper. Um, you don't need to do this thing. If you are a smart um, kids, don't do it at home, please. If you are dumb, stop watching right now, okay? Because I'm about, about to burn my hair. Well, burn this as a hair, okay? So I need a naked fire. Just Guys, always use the right equipment to get the hot stuff. Yeah? Otherwise, you're gonna burn yourself like me. So, imagine this is my hair, and somewhere here, and then you, are, you haven't tied it back, you get close to the fire. And Alright, we continue with eating, drinking and smelling some chemicals that you don't know what they are. Not all chemicals are safe to smell, some of them can be poisonous, they can harm you, your lungs. So you don't smell them even. Um, especially if it doesn't have any label, you don't know what it is. So don't, okay? Some of them might be very nice. <coughs> go around it okay don't taste them if your teacher is salt doesn't mean that it's cooking salt okay don't taste them acid one of the most dangerous corrosive chemicals in the lab again be careful with this although most the acid we use in school uh, they are diluted uh, they are not very strong uh, means if happens goes in your hand or clothes you still have time to quickly wash it off and clean it without the harm uh, so therefore don't panic so if you have a uh, acid um, like accidentally when you are working it happens yeah goes in your hand okay don't panic because Always 
read the label. This is concentrated hydrochloric acid. Sorry, I asked them for diluted one. Oh, yeah, always read the label. Don't trust your technique. Your teach. Just tr just read the labels. But if spillage happen, if you break something, if something goes wrong, do not try to be a hero. Call your teacher. Call an adult. Okay? Don't say, I got it, I got it, I'm going to sort it out. Or hiding things from your teacher. Things happen, you might smash things, you might drop things, spill things. It happens. That's why you're at school. You're here to learn. So if it happens, call your teacher. They would come and clean it, they would collect the broken glass, for example. You do not deal with it yourself. Okay? Don't put yourself in danger. The last thing for this video, I don't want to hurt myself anymore, is do not try to make your own experiment. Don't come up with new ideas. You don't need to be discovering something or inventing something. Just follow the instructions. Don't say, oh, I'm gonna mix this and this, this all together and then having a little bit of this and oh it's just gonna see what is gonna happen oh nothing and it looks like a water let's see what it is Is this? <sighs> Read the label. That's pure ethyl alcohol. <sighs> it burns all of it. <sighs> Guys, stay safe. Okay? I don't want to lose my job. Bye.